With us right now in Hollywood is Sid Charisse and Steve Allen, co-stars of Marilyn in Something's Got to Give. Hi, how are you? Hi, Fine, Cindy. Cindy. Tell me, have you seen any of this footage before? I never have, Sid. How about no, you? No, I've never had an opportunity to see any of the scenes that I ever did in this film. Tell me. I was, Go ahead. Sorry. I was particularly anxious to see it, too, not for selfish reasons. I've seen myself too often, but because our son, not our son, but Jane's and my son, Bill, who was four years old at the time, was tested by George Cukor for the role of Marilyn's son. And, and Jane, who he also wanted to have in the picture, didn't want to be in it, and she didn't want our son in it. So I ended up in it by mistake as I was at the studio that day. <laughs> Tell me, why do you think perhaps no one has seen it? Where has the footage been all this time? Steve? I would think, Cindy, that what we're talking about here is a simple case of corporate inefficiency. Uh, I've tried at least in five occasions over the years to uh, get the film because I wanted to see the footage of our son. And I was told, sorry, you called too late. It does not exist. I'm thrilled to know it does exist. Yeah, you should have called a current affair, honey. <laughs> Tell me, Sid, what was the atmosphere like on the set? The atmosphere, you would have to say, was anticipation of uh, our young star arriving on, this, on the set because we never knew when she was going to be able to shoot or not. So it was a waiting atmosphere, usually, and I would get a last-minute call to please come in that uh, Marilyn hadn't come to work that day, and, and Dean and I would shoot another scene and that was continued almost daily while I was working on the film. Now the production charts indicate however that she did do quite a bit of footage. It said we've heard that she was difficult, she had allegedly all kinds of problems, but she seems to be very alert and very alive. How do you account for that? She looked wonderful. She, I, she never looked more beautiful. Steve, what, are you, what, what about you? Well, as you know, there was always a sense when you were working in a project with Marilyn, a uh, sense of apprehension. Uh, there was uncertainty. Uh, Marilyn, as I guess most people are now aware, had serious emotional problems and could not always be depended upon to at least deliver the goods at the time specified. So we were all very fond of her, and uh, she was an incredible human being, but that was par for the course when you uh, worked in a project with her, and it, it proved to be tragically so, of course, in this instance. The footage that I have seen, and that everybody is going to see in part, shows her to be quite patient and loving. She had a scene with a dog. She had a scene with a child. I think maybe it might have been your son. And uh, she was very patient. She was a doll. Uh, she she had a, a winning, sweet quality. It, it's hard to call that talent. Whatever it was, there's not enough of it in the world. Everybody naturally loved Marilyn Monroe. America loved Marilyn Monroe. She had that, that winsome, sweet, innocent, naive quality. But... Uh, it's so talented. Yeah, so talented. well, the, the, the re reality was uh, different. There's one bit of the footage I've seen where I, I think it's just a still for purposes of checking the makeup or the lighting. And if you look at that moment, I at least see terrible sadness in those eyes. Usually yeah. she had a smile that lit up the world. Yeah. But in this case, her face is blank, and it looks as as if tears are about to flow. In your view, was it the right move to have canceled the film? Well, I don't know what else. Uh, the studio was in the spot there, and I think Dean Martin at the time was, was, had a commitment at another studio, Columbia, to do another film. So everyone was in a very awkward position. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks very much for joining me on the A Current Affair tonight. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. And thank you, Cindy. We can add this to the history of the legend. Oh, must you? The Geographic Society is nuts on punctuality. <laughs> <laughs>